Okay, I'm gonna hand this over to Victor, who's here to uh, facilitate interpretation. Go ahead, Victor. Thank you. Uh, bienvenidos a todos. Tenemos interpretación disponible en español para esta reunión. Así que si está ingresando por medio de una computadora, haga clic en el icono en la parte baja de su, de su pantalla. O si está usando un teléfono móvil o una tableta, va a haber una, tres, icon, uh, tre, tres puntos con la leyenda más en la parte inferior derecha o superior derecha de su pantalla. Y de ahí puede seleccionar su idioma preferido. Si desea escuchar la reunión en inglés, seleccione inglés. O si desea la, escuchar la reunión en español, seleccione español. Si tiene alguna pregunta, por favor envíenos un mensaje en el chat o levante su mano virtual para poder obtener la ayuda. English and Sp Welcome everyone. English and Spanish will be available for this meeting. If you are joining us through a desktop or laptop computer, please click the globe icon that says interpretation located at the bottom of your computer screen, or if you're using a tablet or mobile device, uh, like a smartphone, uh, it, there will be three dots with the legend more at the bottom right or upper right hand side of your screen. That way you'll be able to select your preferred language. If you want to hear the meaning in English, select English, or if you prefer Spanish, select Spanish. If you have any questions, please send us a message in the chat or raise your virtual hand and then we can help you. Thank you and welcome. Thanks, Victor. Um, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. I am Carrie Belding, and I'm the Public Information Officer uh, with the Office of My Management and Finance um, and the Chief Administrative Officer, uh, uh, Officer's Office at the City of Portland. Um, I'm here tonight with uh, our Chief Administrative Officer, Michael Jordan, and he's going to share a few remarks in a few moments. Uh, I know that everybody is on a tight deadline. Um, tonight. So we're really just going to provide a few remarks and um, may be able to take a few questions. We'll wrap right around um, 9 p.m. This will be recorded and uploaded online at the end of this uh, question and answer session. Um, and you can raise uh, your hand after Mike is finished or um, drop a question in the chat for us and uh, we'll uh, try to answer as many as we can. I'm going to hand it over to Michael Jordan now. Thanks, Carrie. Appreciate it. Um, just a few things. Uh, certainly, uh, it appears that uh, the ballot measure uh, to change Portland's form of government uh, may be passing, but uh, at this hour, it's certainly not conclusive. Um, so we'll be awaiting final results um, before we make any definitive statements about that. But this does give me an opportunity to thank uh, the 20 talented, thoughtful, diligent community members that served on the Charter Commission uh, and the thousands of Portlanders that voiced their opinions. Um, we are so thankful for their two years of effort and the staff that supported them. It was a Herculean effort to get the ballot measure to this point, uh, to give Portlanders an opportunity uh, to choose a different form of government. And so we'll await those final results, um, but uh, it, I certainly would be remiss in not thanking folks for all the huge effort that's gone in uh, to get us to this point. Um, I do wanna say that uh, we uh, at the CAO's office have been preparing uh, for the eventuality that the ballot measure would pass. Uh, and uh, should that uh, occur uh, tomorrow, uh, at noon at the Portland building, uh, we'll hold a press conference and we'll talk in more detail about how the city will uh, plan for and execute uh, the transition uh, that's embodied in the ballot measure. But again, I just wanna uh, say, uh, while the, the, the uh, current results look like it may be passing, uh, we aren't sure yet. And so, um, will await the final results of the vote. And if it's positive, we'll be talking in much more detail tomorrow at noon at the Portland building. So I think that's all I have right now, Carrie. If there are questions, we'll take a shot at it. Sure. 
Sure. If anybody uh, has a question they'd like answered uh, this evening, uh, you can raise your hand and I will unmute you to ask your question. I'm also monitoring chat. Okay, we have one question. You should be able to have a hand raised. Hello. Okay, you oh, guys can hi, hear me. Go ahead, yeah. Hi, um, this is Daisy with uh, KGW. Thank you so much for allowing me to, to ask a really quick question. So obviously I know, um, you know, votes are still coming in, uh, polls are still, you know, coming in and gathering all, all of the numbers. And I know that, you know, if this does pass, uh, moves forward tomorrow, we will talk a little bit more about, you know, what are the next steps uh, right around noon for that presser. But for those just wondering, you know, the very first step, what would that look like if this passes, if we look at tomorrow at noon, what can people expect to be discussed uh, exactly for tomorrow for that presser and for the future of what this means for us? Well, Daisy, um, thanks for the question. And uh, we have thought about some of the most urgent issues. Uh, there are a number of things that will be important in the implementation and transition. But one of the most urgent is the fact that we will need to uh, create four districts uh, should the ballot measure pass. And that is not necessarily an easy task. So we will be uh, beginning uh, right away to recruit uh, uh, folks who can sit on a districting commission um, and they will be appointed by the mayor and confirmed by the council and they will have the task of drawing four districts uh, across the city and those districts have certain constitutional requirements. They have to be equal in population. They need to not cut communities up. They need to honor natural barriers and large transportation barriers. So there are a number of different criteria, and that will be one of the most kind of urgent things to get underway right away. Uh, so we will be getting on that right away, should the ballot measure ultimately pass. Thank you so much. You bet. Okay, we have another um, question coming in. I've just um, requested to unmute you. We can't hear very well. Do you wanna drop your question in chat? Okay, I think we'll wait for that question to come in um, via chat. There's some sound. Okay, um, any other questions? Well, we're waiting for one of these to come in. Um, many of you here probably received an email from me inviting you to tonight's media availability. If there will be a um, press conference tomorrow at noon, uh, you'll receive another email from me tonight or by morning with those details. Um, let's see, any other questions? I'm still waiting for one to come in on chat here. And we have a couple more minutes. So 
So while we're waiting, Carrie, I might mention from the last question that oh, what I didn't say was there will that districting commission has uh, some fairly rigorous requirements regarding public involvement. There will be public hearings before they get started. There will be required public uh, hearings in each of the four proposed districts as they move through the process. So uh, look for a significant amount of public engagement, uh, no matter which way the district decisions go, there will be, there will be a lot of public engagement there. And in the entire transition process, we plan to uh, engage with the public in multiple ways, uh, both through uh, survey work and focus groups and uh, dealing with constituencies and stakeholders as we move through implementation. So look for that also. And if we are still waiting for uh, another question, I know we have a few more minutes. So if I can ask just a, a quick follow up, um, Michael, um, you know, how long has this kind of been in the works? Would you say months, weeks, years? Um, if you could give me a little bit of sense of that. Can, can you be more definitive about what you mean this is? Measure two, six, uh, the, oh, the, 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 measure. The, measure, the measure itself? Yes, sorry about that. Yeah, yes. it really has been uh, in the works for the last almost two years. The Charter Commission was impaneled um, at the beginning of 2021, actually December of 2020, uh, and they have two-year terms, and they really divided their work into two parts. The first part, which they spent a fair amount of time, of almost 18 months on, was this the, what has ultimately culminated in the measure that's before voters tonight around form of government and governance and management of the city. Uh, they are also doing a second phase of work and looking at very specific things in the charter. Uh, and I'm the, 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 they're still in deliberations about which of those things might end up on a ballot uh, in the future. Um, but their terms end in early December of this year. Uh, so the thing that you're, we're voting on this evening uh, is, has been almost two years in the making through the Charter Commission's work. And for this, to, uh, if you know, it does pass tonight and we have that press conference tomorrow at noon, um, you know, how long do you think the whole transition uh, for the proposed measure would take altogether? Well, um, we're required to be ready for an election in November of 2024, which would be the first election under the new form of government, should it pass. And the winners in, those, in that election would, be, would take their seats in January of 2025. So the required... It, uh, implementation measures that we have to take on uh, have different kind of deadline dates that are much earlier than November of 2024, but all of them are in preparation for that 2024 election so that a new city council and a new mayor can be seated uh, in January 25. Thanks, Mike. We've got this other question in chat, and so um, this will be the last one. We'll move on to this. Um, question about voting method. What is the process for establishing details regarding the voting method? Who will work out details regarding vote transfers, et cetera, and what needs to be approved by council? Um, the city council will need to look at the city's own voting rules about uh, councilors and mayor and we'll have to adjust our own voting rules through the elections office that is in the auditor's office for the city. But ultimately the administration of the election uh, has to happen through the uh, elections office at Multnomah County. And most people, maybe not everyone knows that uh, the city of Portland exists in actually all three counties. And so Multnomah County will be on point to collaborate with uh, uh, Washington County and Clackamas County under the supervision of the Secretary of State to enter into agreements to administer uh, that first election in November. But, but should the measure pass, 
we will be looking very quickly uh, to bring uh, changes in city code uh, before the city council uh, so that our uh, election rules can align with the language in the charter. And then we would work with the Multnomah County uh, Elections Office to actually administer uh, the election. Okay, thank you. That um, puts us just past 9 p.m. Um, we're hoping to have a little bit more clarity really soon. Um, and uh, maybe we will see you in person tomorrow. Thank you all. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.